One way to solve a system of equations is to graph the two linear functions and see where they cross. Here we have two equations given in standard form. And one thing we like to do uh, when we have equations in standard form is we like to graph them using the intercepts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use red to graph the top linear function and I'm going to use blue to graph the bottom one. So the way we find the intercepts is we do what we call c over a and c over b. We take uh, the x-intercept, and the way we find that is we plug 0 in for y. So we're going to do 4 over 2 on the top equation. The x-intercept for us is going to be 4 divided by 2, which is 2 for the red one. And so I'll put a dot on the x-axis at 2. For the y-intercept for the red equation, I'm going to do c over b because I'm going to plug 0 in for x. And again, that's going to be a 4 over 2. That's a little bit of a coincidence, but that's okay. That tells us that the y-intercept for that line is 2. Okay. So basically, this line is going to sort of follow these dots here. right? We got that intercept down, and then we're just going to graph that line. We always graph our lines by drawing them long and sort of filling up the entire grid. I missed it there. Oops. Worst line ever. Uh, hopefully that won't interfere with finding our solution. So we've graphed that first line. Uh, if you're doing this on paper, please use a straight edge. It'll be a little uh, a better line than what I'm drawing here. We'll do the same process for the blue line, the bottom equation. We're going to find that x-intercept by doing c over a, which would be negative 12 divided by negative 3, right? We plug 0 in for y, and that's how we get that. And so this is going to be a positive 4. On the x-axis, we're graphing a positive 4. To find the y-intercept, we're going to do negative 12 divided by 3. We plug in 0 for x, and that means we're going to have 3y equals 12. Excuse me, negative 12. So we do uh, negative 12 over 3, c over b, which is going to be a negative 4. So that dot's going to be down here on the y-axis at negative 4. And so this line, if we draw it really long, will follow this path. And remember, we're trying to solve the system, so our job was to locate the place where these two lines cross. And we've done that. The winning point is the point right there where they cross, which is 3, negative 1. So the way we write our solution is we put 3, for x, negative 1 for y. We write it as an ordered pair, and we are good to go. We've solved the system. Remember, for graphing lines in standard form, we use the intercepts. And our shortcut, we call it c over a and c over b. Right? You're plugging in 0 for one of the variables so you can solve for the other intercept. That's just a brief reminder. Uh, good luck with your problems.